This is Code.org. I'm currently working on their CS Discoveries course. I'm on Unit 3, Animation and Games, Lesson 15, Velocity, Part 8. Um, ooh, I want to know what this code does, so as always, I'm going to test it. Ooh, ooh, a little, ooh, I think I know what we're going to do. Let's uh, find out. Your controlling speed. Your code before the draw loop sets up the beginning of your game. Yep, we create this variable flybot. We say it's created at the 200, 350, uh -huh, which is down here. And then we say flybot set animation to flybot animation. That's the animation. And then we say that runs once. Then we go to the draw function, which is going to run repeatedly. And we draw our background. Then we draw our sprite. And it runs about 30 times a second. Your code inside the draw loop controls how the game will change while it's being played. In this game, the helicopter bot starts off at the bottom of the screen. But when the space key is pressed, it flies up. Not yet, it doesn't. Do this. Use an if statement inside the draw loop to check when the space bar is pressed. And an if statement is called a conditional. It's checking a condition. So we need to find the if statement. That is going to be in the control. I'm going to check, so I'm going to drag this. I do need it inside of the draw loop because we need to check every, again, it runs 30 times a second. We need to be checking constantly while the game is being played. Is it pressed? Is it pressed? And then make the game respond if it is. Use the if statement inside the draw loop to check when the space bar is pressed. Use the velocity y block to make the sprite fly up when the, uh, when the user presses the space bar. The sprite should keep moving up even after you let go of the space bar. Okay, so that means we only need to hit it once. So inside the if is what we're going to be checking for. What are we checking for? The space bar. Um, is that in world maybe? Okay, um, and this is important. You, If I use win key down, that means only while holding the key down would our sprite move up. I just need it went down. Okay, that means once the key went down, the key has gone down, now do this. So if it went down, it's just going to keep going. Although it might, I want to test that in a sec, actually. It might work either way, because if it checks it and the key has gone down, we never have a turn off function. So it might work either way, but let's test. All right, and then we need to change the velocity y. So sprite maybe, and here's the velocity y property. You want to put it in the if loop because, or in the if conditional statement. And what the computer is doing here, if key went down is down, if this happens, what is returned is true. So if this is true, the computer then runs everything inside of here. After it runs this, it drops below it and runs any other code it needs to. So to go up, Let's check here. Notice our y is decreasing. Okay, so our y is decreasing. Okay, so I'm going to show grid just to show you. y is 0, 0 up here, 400 down here. So I think we would need a negative. I'm going to do negative 4. Oops. Negative 4. I also need to change this. We don't have a sprite variable. We named our sprite flybot, right? So this should say fly. I'm going to go ahead and run, and when, oh wait, what key should I have used? Reset. I need spacebar here. All right. Yep, run. I'm going to go ahead and hit space. Vroom! <laughs> there they go. I did want to test, because now that I've thought about this, it might work even with this. Uh, let's get rid of this. And the last one, hmm. Uh, space. I think it will work either way. We'll test. Yep. So actually it would work either way. Key down or key went down is going to work. It checks it once and it's never going to turn it off. So once the key goes down or went down, it's going to set the velocity to whatever speed you want. I could do negative two, negative one, and it's going to keep going because no matter what, we never had go off or turn off function. All right, so that is the code I used, and it worked for me. Again, I dragged this into the if statement, and I put the key down. Awesome, let's keep going. 